standard trapezium rule question. In this question, we're asked to use the trapezium rule with two intervals of equal width to find an approximate for this following integral here. The integral between 0 and 2 of arc tan x dx. And part b says use the, use the trapezium rule with four intervals of equal, equal width to find an improved approximation for this integral. Okay, for part a, let's start off and let's work out our h. Our h is going to be 2 take away 0, the width that we're integrated between, divided by two intervals. So h is going to be 1 in this case. So let's draw our table. This here is going to be my x value, my y value, and my trapezium rule. So x0 is clearly 0 x1 must be 1, and x2 must be 2. Okay, now y0 is the value when you work out arc tan of 0. Now remember what arc tan means, if, in case you forget. Arc tan of x is the same thing as the inverse tan of x. They mean the same thing. So we type into our calculator, uh, and remember everything's got to be in radians when we do a question like this. Arc tan of 0, and when we do arctan of 0, we get 0. Then y1 is going to be the arctan of 1, so arctan of 1, which is going to be equal to um, pi by 4. And then y2 is going to be the arctan of 2, so arctan of 2, which is not a, a nice fraction, is 1.107148. Um, that should do us for now, okay? Now, the trapezium rule says um, I keep the y0 and the y2, so y0 is 0 and y2. I'm going to write that in full in my calculator, 1.10714817, and we double this one. So we do 2y uh, of 1, we double this, which would be pi by 2. Now I'm going to total this column. So I'm going to add those up, plus pi over 2 and plus 0 and I get myself a total of 2.67794045 and therefore the area, an approximation for the area is a half h, so it's a half times h which is 1 times this total 2.67794045 and if you work that out you get yourself 1 point three uh, four let's say to three significant figures and we're done one point three four to three significant figures part b um, we are going to have a new h so our h is now equal to two subtract zero over four which is 0 0.5 so we're going to have a new table x y and the trapezium okay let's get ourselves like that. Now our x0, we still have some things in similar. We have our x0 equals 0. This time our x1 is going to be 0 0.5. Our x2 is going to be 1.0. Our x3 is going to be 1.5. Our x4 is going to be 2.0. So our y in this case is going to be y0 is going to be 0 as it was up here. And this one is going to be y2 is going to be pi by 4 as it was here. And y uh, 4 is going to be 1.107148 dot 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 as it was before. Okay, so our last column in this case, y0 is still 0, y4 is 1.107148718, and we're going to have, um, and this time we're going to, we're going to double the y2 as before, so double y2 is going to be pi by 2 as before. But we're going to have some different items in here. We're going to have y1 which is equal to arctan of a half. So arctan of 0 0.5, which is actually uh, 0 0.46364. So 2y1, if I double this, I'm going to get myself 0 0.927295218. And y3 is going to be the arctan of 1.5, which is 0 0.98. 
and which I double it, 2y3, I double that, I'm going to get myself 1.96558 Okay, so now I'm going to total this up. So I'm going to add uh, that to uh, pi by 2 to 0 0.927295218 plus uh, 1.107148718. I want to add those things together. I get 5.56539 and so my area is approximately a half h times this, so a half times my h this time, which is actually 0 0.5, so a half times a half times 5.56539 and that approximates to 1.39 to 3SF this time. Okay, and so I've got the answer to this question.